I or no? That is the question. Hi everyone, Lawrence Cheney here. Now I know what you're thinking. Why has she not got eyebrows on? Well, it's because this she's a he. And today I'm going to do something a little different. I uh, thought rather than just doing my uh, normal makeup routine, I thought I would uh, give a kind of my thoughts on a recent trend that's been happening. It's a thing called fishtail eyebrows. Yeah. So in my opinion, they look very questionable. So I thought today I'd uh, try it on myself and uh, let you know what I think. And you'll be able to see if it works or not. <laughs> not feeling confident. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a normal flat brush. I am an MUE now I do this. Aye, aye. So because I don't have any purple concealer left, I'm going to be incredibly crafty and I'm going to mix a pink and blue one together. Always after I do my makeup, the back of my hand always looks like a baboon's ass. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to map out where I want my eyebrows to start. And we're done! Here we go, that's us. Kid no. I'm following the picture of what this uh, girl with the brown eyebrows did because that's actually the trend. It's not a trend in drag, it's a trend in general, like the squiggly eyebrows. It, it's not a drag queen thing, it is a, a makeup thing. Oh wow. So, like always, I'm just doing what I do with any normal eyebrow, and I'm starting with the darkest colour here and then working it so I'm not really gonna fill in the end just so I can kind of ombre it out so it looks snatched using a flat brush I'm just gonna clean up around the edge to make it you know neater and cleaner and more beautiful kind of like myself with eyebrows in general you want them to be real sharp and neat see when I see people with real smudgy eyebrows I literally grab them and I say, hold on Wayne. So normally as well, you would do this, or, or I would do it uh, rather, first thing uh, before even putting foundation on. I always do my eyebrows first because you can sort of blend them out and you can clean them up and your foundation won't like crumble. Because you know what they say, if it's flaking, the kids ain't quaking. Okay, so right now I look like Dr. Spock. Uh, which is not the look I was going for. And then just dab. <laughs> Don't dab like that. Dab like that. When in doubt, finger it. So now taking that same purple off here, I'm just going to do the tail. There we go, so now I've drawn it in, I'm going to set that and then I'm going to go in with some powders and some liner to just define it. I'm going to take a purple eyeshadow. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a really fine small nail brush it's meant for nail art, but I use it for face art. I'm going to draw in with a white and a purple, just individual hairs. Just the same purple again. Then I thought for this bit, this sort of tail, I'd use a bit of black eyeliner. So, you want the tea on fish tail eyebrows. I got the tea. <laughs> so I think I managed to do them really well. I think I got them like super sharp and everything. But let's be real guys. It's a lot of effort to go to for a wee daytime eyebrow. And it's rough. It's rough. No. I think this look uh, works if you are an entertainer or a queen or, or a cosplayer or something like that because it's a bit more kind of fantasy driven. This isn't at all something I think people should be walking down the high street with. It just look it just looks wrong. It looks wrong on normal people. 
It looks right on me. Because I make everything look so beautiful. I'm kidding. Now you just look like Dr. Spock. That's all I'm seeing in this mirror. But if you want to do like a natural eyebrow, just do like a normal eyebrow. Do the normal shape of a normal eyebrow. Please, eyebrows need to be on fleek, not on fleek. So let me know what you think of fishtail eyebrows. If you've seen them before, is this the first time that you're seeing them on me? Should they be the new on fleek? Let me know what you think. Thank you so much, bye.